What's up, you guys? Uh, this is a video a bunch of you, a bunch of you have been waiting for. This is uh, how to use and set up Peer Guardian uh, for OS X Snow Leopard. The reason I'm making this is because I I made another video that sort of a lot of people watched on how to get Peer Guardian for OS X Snow Leopard already working without having to do anything else. You just click and it'll work. But the problem was people wanted to know how to add more sources to it and more block lists. Well, today I have the block lists here, and the link will be in the description. I'm going to show you how to put it on. So first things first, you got to open up the installer if you haven't already, if it's not already installed. Uh, I deleted the program because I've stopped stealing, and uh, there's a person that told me that they wanted Sims 3. And to tell you that right now, I'll just go on like Pirate Bay, search it. Uh, I can't really help you out there because I've already gotten the game and I don't really like it because there's no advantages of having online. So first things first, you got to install. Uh, go on your Macintosh HD, press install. 5 megabytes of space is totally worth it versus getting arrested. It writes up all the files and it should take about like 10 seconds. After that's done, close it, and Peer Guardian should be in your applications. Once you open it, you'll get a little uh, thing that looks like this. Peer Guardian List Manager. You have a uh, person-to-person, peer-to-peer. You got Ads, Spyware, Bloatware, or yeah, Microsoft. These are basically the big block lists. This is all the list for it. I'm going to show you how to add them. Uh, hmm, how do you, uh, let's see what we have to do here. To add it, I like to just make this big so I can read everything. Uh, now, one thing you have to learn with this is when when you use this program, when you have everything all set up and you start using this program, uh, I would just only use it when you're torrenting because when I set it up it wouldn't even let me go on google.com because if I added the US blocker so anything in the US it would block and apparently uTorrent has special permissions so it can pass it but not allow anything coming back into it so this will only work for uTorrent and I recommend only it's for the only for the better that you only use it when you're uTorrenting and turn it off when you're not or seeding so um, let's start off. Let me just make sure I have everything, and I'll show you. Okay. So the sad thing is that I don't even, not even I know how to add a block list to it. But all I know is that it does work even without them because everything's already preset for you. It's got two levels, uh, three levels of protection on a person to person, uh, peer to peer, and spyware. It's got plenty for you to keep you safe. Microsoft, um, I would check on, I would uncheck allow, I would uncheck this if I were you because when you're torrenting it could suddenly pass through. It's got a Microsoft, uh, universal blocker, uh, educational one, I don't know, turn it on, it, it, there's not, there's no such thing as too much protection. Um, web spiders and bots. That's only if you're like downloading a virus maker and you want to make sure it's not a virus just on you. Uh, as I said, do not allow standard ports. Uh, to turn this on, it's got a weird switch to it. You got to go to edit or uh, file and go to statistics. And if you look up here right next to the... the if you look up here right next to the screen flow logo it's going to say pg4 peer guardian so you go over here statistics or press con uh, command t and right next to the um cam studio logo it's going to have a, a pg so once that's on right here it's a quick thing and it automatically enables all filters if you disable them it'll tell you it'll uh, it'll automatically allow all incoming and outgoing connections and you don't want that so you you turn that on when you're doing it and it tells you what it's doing and it tells you incoming blocks if you start getting incoming blocks that means there's a tax coming to you or trying to get your IP address um, outgoing blocks means that 
when you're requesting something, it'll block it from your computer so you can't even touch anything outside. Maybe it's a program that like is stolen and is trying to connect to its server to to block the program. Um, right here you've got uh, list manager is what I'm using right here. Log tells you what's being blocked. If you turn that on. But other than that, I think that's all I can show you guys for today. I mean, I don't know how to use uh, block list. Uh, it's got the list directory page. Uh, these look pretty useful, but as it says, using too many, uh, using too many and/or inappropriate uh, lists may seriously degrade your internet service. So that's one thing to keep in thing uh, in common or in mind. If you use every single one of these and you turn it on, your computer is uh, basically like turning off the card on it. Uh, also, if you do know how to use this, I recommend getting your service provider. I noticed that there are service providers here like AT&T, Verizon, Comcast, uh, Apple, the Pirate Bay. Uh, if, uh, if you have like a stolen game that you're trying to get, get a Nintendo, uh, uh, Ubisoft... Uh, Steam <laughs> pedophiles <laughs> but um other than that that's all I can actually show you guys as I said or as I I was trying to walk away from this video making because I don't exactly know how to use it me myself I just use a little snitch little snitch right here it helps you out it, it's like this except you get to pick what goes in and out but I only have the trial but other than that thanks for watching and I hope this solves some questions